Good morning, friends. Pastor Jesse here at Peckway Church of Whitehorse. Welcome you, you in for uh, day number 17 of our read-through of the Gospel of Luke. We're already up to Luke chapter 17 since we're in day 17. Uh, so I just want to dive in, but before I do that, I want to invite you to open up your Bible or your devices to Luke chapter 17. I'm going to be reading from the English Standard Version. And also, as I always do, I want to most importantly invite you to open up your heart and your eyes to see and receive what God's Word has for us this morning. And Jesus says to his disciples, Temptations to sin are sure to come, but woe to the one through whom they come. It would be better for him if a millstone were hung around his neck and he were cast into the sea than that he should cause one of these little ones to sin. Pay attention to yourselves. If your brother sins, rebuke him, and if he repents, forgive him. And if he sins against you seven times in the day and turns to you seven times, saying, I repent, you must forgive him. The apostle said to the Lord, Increase our faith. And the Lord said, If you had faith like a grain of mustard, you could say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea, and it would obey you. Will any one of you who had a servant plowing or keeping sheep say to him who, when he has come in from the field, come at once and recline at the table? Will you not rather say to him, prepare supper for me and dress properly and serve me while I eat and drink, and afterward you will eat and drink? Does he think the servant because he did what was commanded? So you also, when you have done all that you were commanded, we are unworthy servants. We have only done what was our duty. On the way to Jerusalem, he was passing along between Samaria and Galilee. And as he entered a village, he was met by ten lepers who stood at a distance. And he lifted up their voices to him, saying, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When he saw them, he said to them, Go and show yourself to the priest. And as they went, they were cleansed. And then one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back, praising God with a loud voice. And he fell on his face at Jesus' feet, giving thanks to him. Now he was a Samaritan. Then Jesus answered, Were not ten cleansed? Where are the nine? Was no one found to return and give thanks to God except this foreigner? And he said to him, Rise and go your way. Your faith has made you well. Being asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, he answered them, saying, The kingdom of God is not coming in the ways that can be observed. Nor will they say, Look, here it is, or there, for behold, the kingdom of God is in the midst of you. And he said to the disciples, the days are coming when you will desire to see one of the days of the Son of Man, and you will not see it. And they will say to you, look there, or look here, do not go or follow them. For as the lightning flashes and lights up from the sky from one side to the other, so will the Son of Man be in his day. But first, he must suffer many things and be rejected by this generation, just as it was in the days of Noah, so it will be in the days of the Son of Man. They were eating and drinking and marrying and being given in marriage until the day when Noah entered the ark and the flood came and destroyed them all. Likewise, just as it was in the days of Lot, they were eating and drinking, buying and selling, planning and building. But on the day when Lot went out from Sodom, fire and sulfur rained from heaven and destroyed them all. So will it be on the day when the Son of Man is revealed. On that day, let the one who is on the housetop with the goods in the house not come down to take them away. And likewise, let the one who is in the field not turn back. Remember Lot's wife. Whoever seeks to preserve his life will lose it, but whoever loses his life will keep it. I tell you, in that night there will be one. There will be two in one bed. One will be taken, the other left. There will be two women grinding together. One will be taken, the other one left. And they said to him, "Where, Lord?" He said to them, "Where the corpses, there the vultures will gather." This is the word of the Lord. And I think today uh, the reminder there, obviously talking uh, begins the passage, really talking about having faith and forgiveness, turning away uh, from sin, repentance from sin. And it just is a reminder here, verses five through six, uh, where the apostles asked the Lord to increase their faith. He says, have a little bit of faith. If you had just a little bit of faith, like a grain of mustard seed, you would say to this mulberry tree, be uprooted and planted in the sea and it would be obey you. In other words, I think what Jesus is saying to us there is this is not a, a guessing game that he's playing with us, right? It's not a game of hide and seek. It's not a game of trivial pursuit. The Lord is not is not uh, hiding himself in any way from us. Rather, he makes himself available to us. And that's in all things. That's in turning away from sin. That's, of course, in turning to him. I mean, he literally comes to us. We don't have to go and find him. Uh, if we desire to have our faith increase, if we desire to turn away from sin and be more representative of Christ, that Holy Spirit that dwells within each and every believer, it is there to help us, to comfort us, and to increase our faith and increase the overflow of faith in our lives, the fruit of the faith that we have in Christ in our lives. So if you want to turn from sin, if there's something you want to lay down, if you want to have your faith increase, you want to see the fruit of Jesus in your life increase, 
have faith, trust the Lord, ask the Lord, and, and he's not playing a guessing game with you. He's not stingy with his, his goodness. He will give it to you in abundant, in abundant measure. So thank you for joining us as we read Luke chapter 17. Obviously next time we'll dive into Luke chapter 18 and excited for the read through. We're getting, uh, as we both on the calendar, as we sit here today on uh, February 27th, 2024, uh, we get ready for Easter on the calendar and we're also getting ready for the Easter in, in the, all that happened in the lead up to the cross and, and after the cross uh, in our read through the gospel of Luke. Can't wait to join in with you and see what the Lord has for us.